So this is a clip about leadership, impact and presence and the six directions of the body. You can look at this in terms of six directions, up and down, left, right, front and back. So how we come across to others is massively impacted by our bodies, whether we seem sincere, whether we're coming across as, as authentically who we are, whether we have that oomph, that leadership impact and presence, depends upon how we embody these six directions. In the following clips, you're gonna see a practice to build a particular direction if you need to build versatility in that area. And the other is just showing it in a more, more everyday context, so much more subtly. So the first direction is down. This is about what we are. It's about uh, application. Emotionally, it can be about sadness, but also about being firm, standing one's ground. Uh, in an everyday context, it just means relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the legs letting your bones bear the weight so you're connected to the ground. The posture to build this, if you need more of this grounded capacity, is to take the legs wide to really bend the knees, push down with the palms, ground. Up is also about what we are, and it's about vision, it's about lightness, it's about joy. Um, in everyday life, this might just be a little bounce in your step, a slight reaching upwards here, so rather than being crushed, actually, reaching upward slightly and the posture we use to build this is putting the feet together to breathe light and high in the chest and to have the gaze and the hands and the arms up building this up quality in the body up so this clips about the directions of in and out this is about uh, expression and containment it's also about uh, big picture and detail. So in everyday life, oh, having outwards a bit of width just means your feet are a little bit further apart than they might be. The shoulders are also uh, fully as apart as they can be. So rather than rolling the shoulders in or back, a lot of people are less confident like this. The shoulders are as far apart as they can be. The arms relax, but to the side. The posture we use to build this is to really spread the arms out wide. So it's like you're reaching with your fingertips to the left and the right, and the legs are really wide too. So you take, get used to taking up as much space as you can. So in a more everyday context, it's just here. For in, in is really about a reflection, coming back to oneself, being more inward focused. Um, Excessively in would look unconfident, but a certain amount of containment can be very useful and for looking at detail too. So we're doing just this. So this slightly narrower feel for in. In life it might just look like this. And the posture we use is really to actually to bring the hands together in this prayer kind of position. Take the head down so the focus goes inwards and bring all one's attention inwards. The feet are together too. The last two directions are forwards and back. So this answers the question of when we are in time. We can be more forwards going into the future, maybe quite hopeful, expectant, or kind of curious, looking forward, engaging another person. Or we can be more back, we can be more kind of past orientated, reflective, evaluative, maybe keeping some distance from someone. Uh, both of these are valuable and necessary. In life, it's simply a matter of coming forward slightly onto the balls of the feet to really take your posture forward or to let yourself go back onto the heels. The postures we use to build these, one leg forward, really reaching forward. Yeah, what's going on here? Try standing in this posture. Where am I going? What's happening? The yin and the yang side of it. And try the back posture, um, really to be weight on the back leg, feeling one's back. Hmm, okay, maybe you're welcoming, maybe you're evaluating, but there's that backwards quality. 